Javanjeri Balakut, Ungodjan Kiripik, Ungodjan Kupukna Korenik, Ungodjan Bularu Waranya, Ungodjan Murukalara Birram Waranyu, Yam, Ungodjan Lewit Bulok Nugulit Ba Lalal Ba Bubung Nugulit, Ungodjan Kiripik Choi. My name is Mandy Nicholson and I'm very pleased to be part of this project. I don't know how we were matched up with all the details, but I think we were a perfect match for this particular project. I'm so glad that we could do this artwork to honour the work that you do with children. I feel very honoured, so thank you. The project is The two commissioned piece of artwork that we've got with us today um, we're going to introduce to Auschild and, and circulate around all of our offices so all of our staff can experience them. And I think what it will do is very significant. For one, it represents some Aboriginal leadership, very, very strong leadership of a male and a female leader here in Victoria. All of the offices where we deliver services are on their country and it's really important for our staff to be able to stand and reflect and take on board what they see in those images and what that means then in terms of our own journey to cultural competence and the support we give to our vulnerable children and young people, many of which of course are Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. As a, as a leader, you've got to not only do it but also showcase that you can do it and it's possible for anyone else to do it, regardless of what age you are. I'm from Shep. Yorta Yorta. Currently live in Bendigo, um, been here for studies, been here for four years. I'm studying um, Masters in Teaching Secondary and I've already completed the Bachelor in Creative Arts there as well. well my mob is uh, Wurundjeri Willem um, and it's a patriline within the Wurundjeri Balak and I also have Jaja Wurrung connections through my great-great-grandfather and also Tanarong. For this project, I'm a mentor for Troy. I didn't know Troy at all before this. We connected over the phone and emails and Facebook and things like that. I'm really glad that he was chosen because I really like his art style. I believe that yeah, me and Mandy will, will, will be able to do it, no worries, because um, we have that common ground of culture. I'll be doing the airbrush style to commemorate and honour two of Wurundjeri leaders, Ani Wini Kwagliotti, Ni Terik, and Simon Wonga, who was a leader on Narangeta of the Wurundjeri people in the 1800s. I think it's going to work out really well where it's got the element of the, you know, the strong leaders looking in on these two panels, looking in from the side, and Troy will be creating the background that honours and links to the life of these two great leaders. I'm going to print the black and white photos of Ani Winnie and, and Simon Wonga, and then I'm going to project the photo with an overhead projector onto the MDF board, and then just put dots where the shaded areas are. So I'm not tracing the face, but I'm creating a template that I can use when I reference the actual photo. I'll mask that off and I'll give the panels to Troy to do paint the background. When he gives it back to me, I'll complete the airbrushed images and then I'll give it back to him to just touch up the edges so it blends better. obviously take a lot of pride in what you do and you don't rush anything and it means a lot, you can tell. That's the um, mission that Uncle Solomon made. You could see the life and livelihood of his mob failing because of all the land grabbing and all the gold rush and everything so he said how can we work together and these huts would be where that were built for the families to live in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It sort of happened in the 1800s where People would live in huts like this with clay floors and because it was so cold and they weren't given enough blankets, a lot of them would die of something called consumption. A lot of our leaders died. When the wattles are in bloom, we say, you know, we've just got to honour our leaders and remember them. 
I think it's important to create leadership in our young girls in my instance and the young men because the roles that you gain throughout your life traditionally, they aren't happening anymore. So we're trying to bring that back. You teach them from the youngest of ages and then they'll go off and do their own thing, but eventually they'll realise they always have that opportunity to come back and remain active in their cultural practices, language, dance and all of those things. The more we have, the better. Indigenous leaders, young and old, but mainly young. To, to prove to the elders that we that they can step down and they're in confidence someone can take over. The interesting thing about this artwork and the inspiration is the fact that we didn't really have to go far. For Indigenous people, our culture is the heart of everything. And that goes for any Indigenous person you ever meet. I think the main thing is for new people coming into Auschild is that there is a real need for self-examination about how you currently think about your role, how you understand Aboriginal culture and Aboriginal people and the commitment that you're going to make at a personal level to uh, address that gap and to come with us on the journey of building our capability in this area.